Hi, welcome to this week's Midweek Connection. My name is Todd Jordan. I serve as senior pastor here at Strawbridge United Methodist Church, and I'm delighted that you've joined me. I wanted to share with you a parable that uh, always convicts me whenever I read it. It is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 9 through 14. And Jesus, Luke says, told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee standing by himself was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. So whenever I read scripture, I have the tendency to be in one of two mindsets. And usually I'm in the mindset of when I read something powerful or read something important, I think of all the people I know that really need that lesson. Or I think of the people, I may not even know them personally. It may be political leaders, it may be people in the media, it may be people I see on TV or just people I've heard about uh, or know through, through reputation. And I think, you know, if they read this, if they were to, they, they need to see this, they, they, this is a message for them. But then I have to remind myself, um, the message is for me. It's always for me. Um, otherwise, I'm like that Pharisee thinking, gee, God, I'm glad I'm not like the sinners in this world. I'm glad I'm not the guy that actually has it together. That, Jesus says, is the wrong mentality. The right mentality is, say, is, is the one like the tax collector who says, I am convicted. I'm a sinner. I need your mercy. I need your help. I need you, O oh God. Whenever you read scripture, it's talking to you. It's not talking to your neighbor. It's not talking to the people you don't like. It's not talking to the people you know who really need the word of God. Scripture is talking to you. When I read it, scripture is talking to me. And so when you do, you find yourself thinking like that, ask yourself, God, what are you trying to tell me? What is it that you're trying to communicate to me? How could the world be better if I listened and I made the changes in my life or invited you into my heart to make the changes in my life that need to be made so that I can make this world a better place and my faith can be stronger? Pray that you will look at scripture in this light rather than the light of the Pharisee. May God bless you, and I look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday. Have a great week.